Howdy y'all, today I'm going to show you how to level up the fastest. 1 to 100 basically. Now before this happened, it took me two days to do this, but it's recently been updated, so you can probably do it in one day now. By the way, pro tip, this is how you get to the uh, Tenaris one the easiest. Go to Dollaran, go up in the main hub here, and portal to here. Capture the time, boom, you're already here. You're already in Tenaris. Like that. Simple, simple. Loading screen, of course. There we go. And see, you're already in stage one Tenaris. Simple, simple, simple. Quickest way to get here. I'll, uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you guys the best ways to get around buying level 60 flying, or with level 60 flying, and we'll go from there. But in the meantime, to level up, 1 to 100, the best thing right now is invasions. And uh, just honest to god, invasions. As I said, I did it for two days before. 1 to 100, easy as pie. It's even easier now since there's six invasions every two hours. The minimum you get if you actually participate well in an invasion is at least a level, and sometimes a level and a half. If you're under level, say, 70, you'll get more. When I did it at level 20 something, I got like 8 or 9 levels, and that's after I died on like 3 bosses and didn't get XP for any of them, so... You can make a lot of good XP here. By the way, this is all with just heirlooms. No XP potions, no nothing like that. Just, just heirlooms. You don't need nothing fancy. I mean, if you have XP potions, go ahead and pop them. Couldn't hurt. Or recruit a friend bonus. I'm sure that'll get you to 1 to 100 in like an hour. But, uh, yeah. Coming up on the first thing here. See, it's already half filled. Easy peasy. I'm gonna take you guys in basically through an entire invasion. Just talk it out. Stage 1's always the same thing. Just demons attacking the main hub or where at. Since we're in Tenaris, it's Gazazan or Gazatron, whatever the hell it's called. Just tag the demons. The more you tag, the more XP you'll get. When they die. Tag, 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 tag. Best if you have a dot class, really. Druids, priests, etc. Just dot everything up you can. If you're a tank, though, it may hurt sometimes, because, uh, <laughs> you will draw aggro from the slightest attacks at times. Especially if you're higher level than anybody else. Let's see. Now, when the elites spawn in, which they haven't yet, I don't know if they will before the lieutenants come out. Oh, and see what I mean, I already have aggro. But if you ever see any elite mobs, you want to tag those. Those give the most XP of trash. They can give you a nice uh, little boost. Yeah, just tag everything. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, it's about to hit 1%, so stage 2 coming up. Come on, stage 2. Defeat the lieutenants and the commander. Now, you definitely... Definitely want to tag these lieutenants. They give a good chunk of XP, so just tag, and then go tag the other one. There's two. If you're in Westfall, there's three. Make sure you tag all three. Again, great XP. Boop. Now, if you're a lower level, or you can't self-heal or anything like that, what I advise you to do, once you tag the demons, just run. D just run. Get behind a wall. If you die, you don't get the XP for when they die, so... Oh, that's an elite. Tag that. Boop. But yeah. Case of point, and see that one elite died, almost 10k XP. It's good XP. Now we'll watch these demons die, and we'll, uh... It may take a little time, depending on how many people are here and actually doing anything. If this wasn't just for the video, I'd be in there helping out too, but I just want to show you guys the XP rates, so... Just try not to die. Best I can. I guess I got the 30, almost 30k for that guy. My bad. So yeah, 30k for Lieutenant at level 80. Pretty respectable. Let's see how much Mr. Commander gives. No, it's random, by the way. You'll get a random amount of XP for whatever elite it is. I've gotten 60k off those lieutenants before. Again, it's always worth just tagging them. And try your hardest not to die, unless you can make it back while something's still alive to get one hit in on it. Hit, it. hit in on it. it. This is one guy, and I'm a tank, so I'm not really that afraid of him, so I'm just gonna help out here. Pretty simple. Most demons they don't got a way about, some do have a pain in the ass AoE, they'll just one-shot you if you're lower level. Okay, we got another 30k for that, plus 30k for this stage, pretty good, pretty good, no, tag this guy, XP, ooh, no elite. Now, this is the most important part of the invasions, this is where the bulk of the XP comes from. As soon as I'm not tagged for combat anymore, there we go. Now, the skulls in the minimap, 
These are the people who are going to go. These are boss demons. You want to go to the boss demons. Please note that there's also demons at these things too. The gates, such as the name guy right here. He also gives a good XP, but nobody ever kills him and you don't want to solo these things, so just ignore them. If you're actually in a group that's killing everything, then yeah, those guys are definitely worth it because they do, they do give the same amount of XP as the skulls, but most of the time nobody's killing them. So, we're going to the Colossal Infernal first. That's where pretty much one of the same people go. Then we'll hit this thing, Thogok. Same rules apply to these, just make sure you tag them. Only these guys will murder you if you ever draw aggro. They are painful. They are painful. So, uh... Oops, hit the rank key there, there we go. So yeah, if you're a tank, you will draw aggro after a few attacks, so be careful. DPS, you can often just keep wailing on it. If you're lower level, you ain't gonna do much anyway, so it's not really gonna come after you. You can tag these little guys around him too for XP, but it's not really that much, like 1k. I just like to avoid him, so I can fly to the next guy quickly. But you can, especially if you're dot class. Yeah, like I said, there's six invasions now, they're all on the map. There's Tenaris, there's Northern Barons, there's Azara. There's Westfall, which I've already done, uh, right about here. Uh, yeah, yeah, wait, that's Westfall. There's, uh, Dunmoreau, and then there's Old Hills Grand Footholds. Those are the six spots. I, of the hardest, I'd say Azawa is the hardest to get to as, ho as Alliance, and... Let's see, as Horde? To be honest, none of them are really hard to get to as Horde. They're all in very great spots for Horde. This is definitely harder for Alliance than this Horde. I'd say Dunmoreau is probably the hardest for Horde, but again, that's still pretty damn close. Demon, demon, demon right down there. Smack him. Smack. There we go. We're good. You just gotta land one. Oh, I, like I said, I drew aggro off that one hit. <laughs> you gotta watch your aggro, especially if nothing but lower people around you. It's okay, we can tank this, we can tank this, we're a proud warrior, Worgen. The warrior Worgen. Drop some tendrils. Oh god. Okay, maybe I shouldn't tank him. Oh god, that hurt. Heal me! Anybody heal me! Anybody! Help, friends! Friends! I'm dead. <laughs> bear, bear, help me bear. Help me bear. Please bear. Please note, you, you do want to try your hardest not to die, because graves like this often won't be that close to where you died, and it's going to take some time to get back. This is a rarity. This is the is, is an extreme rarity. Oh, oh, I actually got the XP. Maybe they fixed that. Good. But yeah, 40k. So, yeah, good. Good XP. Next, we'll hit this guy over here. Dread Commander Nathrizal. No, please note, it's Tenaris that most of the time, people don't go after his right side here. Now, if you're in a group, like in Raid Finder, you can kill these things once the main boss spawns. Nobody ever does, but you will get more XP. If, like, you get at least 80k XP for killing these two right here. Then go and kill the boss and get even more. But most most people just leave these two alone, so you'll be mo mostly focusing on the left side here. Tag them. Now what the hell, if I die, I die. It's not really going to do anything. Shame this ain't my level 100 warrior, I'd never die then. But I actually wanted to get XP. Screw you. But yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else I want to say here. I think I've covered the basics. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys the best way to travel from point A to point B on these invasions. I'd love it if I could get some heals. It'd be, it'd be wonderful to get some heals. Pro tip, if you're leveling a healer and doing this, heal the guy tanking, he would love you forever. J just heal the tank, please. Be, be nice, be a good healer, heal the tank. My favorite's when I'm on horde and some alliance person trying to heal me. Ah, uh, heal me. Can't do it, but they, they at least try. Alrighty, here's the next guy. He is flying until you kill the lesser demons underneath him. There's like this guy over here and then there's another guy over here. Not much, he's not hard to bring down. As soon as you kill this guy, he should be coming down. Boop. Yep, here he comes. Come on down, buddy. 
I'm still not healed up any anywhere near close to being full, yay me. But yeah, doing this, I made the level uh, 102 days, and that was with three invasions a day. With uh, six invasions, you honestly should be able to do this in one day, if you if you know life. Maybe half a day if you have XP potions and shit, or be recruit a friend bonus. I have no friends, so I don't get that ever. Hmm. By the way, this is one of the worst invasions for XP, by the way. I'd say Westfall is the best XP. Because everything's super close to each other, you can just basically tag almost everything, and uh, you'll get a lot. Plus, there's three Demon Lieutenants, so that stage alone, you get often over 100k XP. Say this, and maybe Dunmoreau are the worst two invasions for XP. Just because everything's spread out, and God help you if you're in Daenerys and you don't have flying. Just, it's terrible if you don't have flying. Just my advice to you if you don't have flying, start running as soon as something's about dead. Just start breaking from the next boss, because that's the only way you're going to make it there in time to tag it. Only way in hell. Bright side, oh, uh, see these couple flying over here. You can always have a friend fly you too if your friend's leveling, and your friend has flying and a double side, uh, two seat amount. That would be extremely nice of them. Also, you can have a mage friend too that can port you to places, because mage ports are extremely helpful for this. Extremely. Going to hit the Fell Reaver next. Fell Reaver is also a pain in the ass boss because if he has aggro on you, he will just one shot you. If you're anything other than a tank and you and you have aggro on the Fell Reaver, he's going to one shot you. So be wary of that. If he's on you, bolt. Don't don't stop. Just run back, bolt. Because he will kill you, and you'll have a long run back. Ew, Panda Girl. Got the Pandacles. All right. This is probably the last boss we're gonna get because the big guy is gonna come out of this. So. We'll head back to the base and you'll see the big boss. Provided he does not get aggro on me. He should- oh god. He also charges by the way, watch that. He does charge. And if you're a clothy or something, that can take you almost dead instantly, so watch for that. He also has some kind of rain of fire ability that rains down fell fire upon people, so... You gotta move out of the green for that. Yeah, like that right there. Just move out of the way, it doesn't hit you. Pretty simple. Just watch where your feet are. Ball's already almost filled up to 90 and 100%, so like I said, this is gonna be the last boss we can do here. You can kill these other two, but these guys are not going to kill those other two. Come on. Kill him already. He's almost there. 17%. You can do it. Do my bidding. Do it. Do it. There we go. Oh, that's a stage three. Stage four, uh, stage four activating. Ouch. How oh, no, well, am I? Did I level up? Not yet, alright. Actually, no, I think I leveled up at the start of this. Right? I leveled up back in the uh, Gadget Zone. Anyway, stage four. Stage four is pretty simple, just go back to the main city and there's gonna be a boss demon there now. Kill the boss demon, end the invasion, you get boxes. Previously, you could just not kill the demon and just port the zone and come back for more XP. But since the uh, since there's six invasions going on right now, odds are when you finish all six, the next they're just going to spawn because they're every two hours now, so... You don't really got to repeat anything anymore. Just do the invasions. Also, pro tip, save these boxes, the large legion chests. You can open the green ones if you want, they have smaller shit in them. You can still get, you can save all these for better chances of loot, but... Save them for when you're about 100, or at 100. You can get a bunch of these, the co coalesced fell. And you'll get weapons, armor, everything appropriate to level uh, 700 item level. Basically, just make a character 700 item level like that. Save them all. Plus, you can sell, you can sell all the loot you get from them for gold. My uh, mage, when I got him to 104, sold all the crap from the boxes and made about 3k gold. So you should be able to buy flying with that if you uh, made an alt on a new server like I did. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty good gold. Let's you buy what you need to buy. Almost back. Now the big bosses are definitely not a joke. The big bosses have many abilities that will just one shot uh, one shot you. They're painful. A lot of the time they're painful. This one is a volcano, for example. Just avoid the volcanoes. And avoid her don't get aggro on her. Personally, I, I like to be a cheap asshole with these. I like to tag the boss. Then I like to run away. Just get out of aggro range. Go go go. 
I can't see my mounts from here, so there we go. I'm just trying to position myself. Mount up. And now I get boss XP. Tee hee. And I don't gotta do any work. So yeah, that's an invasion. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Like I said, Tenaris is the worst. From best to worst, I'd say Westfall's best. Then the, uh, what, what the hell is it called? Northern Barons is the second best. Hillsbrand's third. Ajara. Dunmuro. Tenaris. For XP, oh god. Oh god, Volcanoes enemy, Volcanoes enemy. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, fucking vol That volcano, man. By the way, the boss AoEs, they can spawn anywhere. I've had, uh, a giant bowling ball of fell to spawn in the sky on me, so... You do have to move occasionally. <laughs> just, just occasionally. Don't die. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, there we go. By the way, once you get to 100, uh, well, pre-100, you probably have a lot of these shards. You probably will get 2,000 before you get to 100, so... About 1,500 shards, you may want to just take a break and go to a local Demon Hunter vendor and buy some Felbat Pups, the pets, just to get rid of the shards. Because you don't want to cap the shards out. The pets, you don't, if you can do something with the shards, do something with the shards, buy the pets, am I right? Hmm? Do something with them. Like I said, definitely get heirlooms for this, you want heirlooms, they're not that expensive. If you're fresh to the game, bump some gold off your friends, pay them back later. It's not that hard to make gold, and not that expensive. Especially if you're a girl. Ask, ask guy friend, they'll give them to you for free. Girls get anything for free they want. Guys, do not let girls trick you to doing that. I'm looking at you, Tom. Looking at you. Don't. Stop doing that, Tom. Stop it. It's bad, Tom. Stop. I said you're about dead. 100k. If you're not sure if you tag the boss or not, just tag it at the last 100k. There you go. Then you'll get the XP. Like a cheap little bastard. The best way I do things. Yes, let's take off. Okay, now. As Alliance, the best way to get around is, say example, Theramor. If you're a mage, you want to teleport to Theramor to get to Northern Marins. If you know a mage, you want them to teleport you to get to the Northern Barrens. If you don't know a mage, then the best way to get to Theramor is to take the boat that's north of Dunmoreau. I'll take you there in a minute. That is the best way for Alliance to get to the Northern Barrens and Ajara. Have someone with a two-seater mount fly you to the flight paths along the way to Ajara. Best way. There's... Unless you have the Mount Hygel teleport open, or you're a flying character that has access to uh, Daenerys. It is hands down the best way to go to Theramore and then this flight path to over here. Hands down. To get to Daenerys, the best thing to do is to go to Dalaran. Best way to get to Dalaran, have your Hearthstone set to Pandaland. The Pandaland Shrine. Then it teleports all over the place. Go to the Dalaran teleport there. Best way. Horde. Horde, best way to get over here. To Westfall, take the blimp. I'll show. I'll put a little cut section to the blimp in here now. Alrighty, here you are in Org, by the limps. Well, by the flight path, by the way. In case you don't have flying and you want to get up here. Flight path, directly up here, up the blimps. This first blimp is... Undercity. This is where you want to go to get to dead, uh... Hills brand footholds. Undercity. This other blimp right here, this one goes to Stranglethorn. This is where you want to go to go to Westfall and Dunmoreau. Stranglethorn. So, right, Undercity, left, Stranglethorn. Got it? Good. Simple. Like I said, blimps are a lot more efficient than boats. So the Horde does kind of have a leg up here. But yeah. The rest, uh, to go to a shower, you just fly north, or mount north to go to Northern Barrens, you just, uh, slightly fly to the west. Easy. To go to, uh, Tanaris, just go again, go to Dalaran, teleport to the Cave of Time, Tanaris, done. Horde definitely has an easier time getting around. You definitely want to have a friend flight path here for the first initial flight points. It really helps. It really does help. Okay, I quickly hopped on my mage to just show you guys quickly some teleports. Now the best way, hands down, Horde or Alliance, to get to Hillsbrand Footholds for the invasions 
is the old Dalaran teleport, which is right here. Ancient teleport. Let's click that. Uh, before I click that, I'm not sure how bad I'm lagging thanks to my recording, so I'm just going to push slow fall on myself. Now let's click it. Best way, hands down, to get the uh, Hills Brand footholds is with this teleport spell. Best way. You can only get it at level 90, by the way. It, ha it does have a level cap. You need level 90 for it, so. Unless you have a friend, I probably wouldn't, uh. Probably wouldn't put too much will or hope into it, into getting it for early leveling. Definitely gonna need a friend for that. But as you can see, if you don't have slow fall. Oh god. And I'm dead. <laughs> Or if you cast slow fall on yourself before you teleport, or if you're not mounted, that happens. Bad things happen. Alright, so that's Hills Brand Footholds. Make sure you mount it up with a flying mount, or you do have some kind of slow fall levitate on you. Fresh. Fresh. Now, let's go to Theramore, and I'll show you how to take the boat. Or the flight path. Depending on where you're going. Alright, we're in Theramore now. Now, the best place... Again, I keep looking at my mounts over here because of the mic's in the way. Alrighty. Now, the two spots here you want are the flight path, which is right over here. Right there. That's flight path man. You see how I have these things unlocked? Ashenville for the, uh, Majara, and Northern Barons for Northern Barons. Pretty simple. People are whispering me for some reason, I don't know why. Oh, they're asking for portals, tee hee. Sorry buddy, busy filming a video, no portals for you. And you see the people waiting here, this is where the boat comes. It's a, it's a typical boat, if you ever waited for the boat or the blimps from the, uh, horde area, this acts just like that. I'd say the blimps are far more convenient than the, bo uh, the boats though, because the blimps are actually in the main city. The boats are scattered around throughout the areas. Who knew blimps are more efficient than watercraft? Cutting head. Alright, well my friend just told me that apparently the boats are broken right now. As of right now, I'm, I'm sure they'll be fixed by in a few hours or so, but sometimes it does happen, like a boss will glitch out, a bolt will break. So yeah, right now the boats are down, but I'm just going to show you where the hell to go anyway. So I'm just flying from Ironforge. It is best you have someone fly you to this boat, just the first time. There's a flight path here you can unlock, but you do want... You do want them to fly you if they can. Like, just ask a friend with a two-seater mount to fly here one time. Just once. I'll show you the flight path. And there's the butt right there that's broken. Anyway, it's easy peasy. You just go from Iron Forge to right next door, the Baradin Bay. And apparently that boat's not broken all of a sudden. Okay. I guess it was just me breaking it, apparently. Anyway, that's the boat you want to board to Theramore. Right there, leaving the porting. Here is the uh, flight path you want to go to. Right here. And with this flight path, you should have access to it as soon as you pop it from Stormwind to uh, yeah. You have access from Stormwind to Ironforge to uh Mama Menethil Harbor. Menethil, Menethil, the harbor basically. And that's where you go to Theramore. And a uh, Westfall there too. You can also just fly from Stormwind to Westfall. So, flight's easy peasy, as long as you have flight points. You go there once, no problem ever going back again. Simple as that. So with that, I think I have covered everything that you should know. If uh, I didn't cover something and you really want to know, just ask me in the comments, I, re I will reply and answer you. So, hope that helps you all. You have one week to do this, by the way. It is exactly the 23rd today. You have one week to do this if you want to level something. So get to it. If you want that, if you want that tune that you've been trying to try out and you've been wanting to get to 100, do it now. Do it now. Because this all goes away in one week. On the 30th, no more. So, good luck to everybody. Get your tunes you want, and as I... By the way, question. Do you like this face cam I'm doing right now? Odd question, but let me know. Because this is fairly new for me outside of reactions, just having a little face cam like this. So, let me know about that, would you? As a payback for the guide, hmm, hmm? Okay, well, take care, good luck, I will see you all next time, and byesies.